What's going on here, Mom? Are you guys going camping? No, silly. Well, after putting off for who knows how long, we are finally getting prepared for an emergency or a disaster. Mm -hmm. Nice. And you came at the perfect time. Here. And what's this? That is your very own Be Ready booklet. And what am I supposed to do with this? Well, we, we each have our own booklet, and in it we list important information about ourselves. Information that could help us in case of an emergency. Things like people we want to contact, mm -hmm. important health insurance information, even things we need like a list of my medications and dosages. In mine, I, I have copies of our important documents, you know, always a little bit of cash, <laughs> <laughs> and eventually a seven-day supply of my medications. Speaking of which, how are we going to get that seven-day supply? Well, I'm still trying to figure that one out. So what am I supposed to do? Stop taking my medications for a week so that I can store them in the emergency supply kit? No way, Dad. You know you need to take your medications every day. There's got to be another way. So, you want to be ready for emergencies and disasters? Sure, you've heard the importance of putting together your emergency supply kit and having an extra seven-day supply of medications in that kit. We spoke to some of the finest pharmacists in the city and county of Los Angeles. Here's one now, pharmacist Bob Smith. Have you noticed how frequently there is an emergency or natural disaster? Heat waves, winter snowstorms, tornadoes, hurricanes, also earthquakes and wildfires. Power goes down in all of these and you may either be forced to leave your home or you may be unable to leave your home for several days. If you don't have enough of your medications at home, your pharmacy may not be able to help you right away. Remember Hurricane Katrina? Lots of people did not have enough of their medications with them when they were forced to leave their home and without their medications, they got sick. That is why health officials recommend you having your personal seven-day supply of medication. There are basically three ways to create a seven-day supply of medications. Here's the first way. Why, hello, Mr. and Mrs. Jones. How can I help you today? Good day, Bob. My husband and I wanted to get a refill on our medications. Okay, Jones. Mrs. Jones, according to my records, you should still have another week's worth of your medication. Refilling early? Uh, yes, Bob. We're trying to get extra medications to put away in our emergency supply kit. Oh, I see. So by filling this prescription early, it looks like you'll have an extra seven days worth of medication. Well, that's what we were hoping for. We wanted to take the extra medication and put it in our emergency supply kit. It's just as a precaution, you know, just in case. Better safe than sorry, I always say. Well, what about me, Bob? Will I be able to fill my prescriptions a little earlier than usual? Yes, you can. You have Medicare Part D, and under your insurance plan, you can purchase a three-month supply of your pills with a doctor's prescription. Now, the copay will only be what you would pay for two months of medicine if you were to purchase them one month at a time. So it's actually a cost savings if you can afford it now. And if you refill early, you too will have extra medicines for your disaster kit. Oh, great. Uh, okay, so what I'll do is I'll contact my doctor uh, for that 90-day prescription. So this is one way to stockpile a seven-day supply of medications for your emergency supply kit. Step one, get a refill three to seven days before your prescription runs out from your pharmacy. Step two, put the remaining medicine from the old container aside into your kit. Now, just repeat those two steps until you have at least a seven day supply of medicines in your emergency kit. What else do you have for us, Pharmacist Bob? Another way you can create a seven-day supply of medications is by getting what insurance companies call a vacation or travel override. Now, it's important, though, to check your health insurance company limits because some only allow one vacation override per year and some none at all. Take a look at this. Why, hello, Jones family. How may I help hey, you Bob, today? How are you? Good day, Good Bob. We're here to request vacation override for our medication. Oh, nice. Planning a family vacation, are you? Well, using our vacation override it allows us to store away a little extra medication for our emergency supply kit. Good. Well, let's see what your health insurance company allows. Hmm. Well, Beatrice, it looks like your insurance company does allow vacation override. 
So you'll just need to pay your usual copay, and I can get you that extra 30 days worth of your medication. Terrific. Thank you, Bob. Hmm. Well, now, unfortunately, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, your insurance company does not allow for a vacation override. I'm very sorry. But are you kidding? Don't that be dog. No, don't be disappointed, Mr. and Mrs. Jones. There is another way. Now, according to my records, Mr. Jones, you could refill your prescription for hypertension today, and that would leave you with... Um, uh, three days of my medicine. That's right. Yes, uh, three days. Now, you can take those three pills that you have and store them in that emergency supply kit of yours because now I'm going to start you off with a new 30-day supply, which you can take home with you today. Well, ideally, we wanted a seven-day supply. Oh, yes, I do understand. So we'll just do this again next month and the following month if necessary until you have that extra seven-day supply of medicines tucked away in your emergency supply kit. <laughs> Hi, Bob. That's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. Yes, it's true. Unfortunately, some insurance companies do not offer a travel or vacation override, but it doesn't hurt to ask your pharmacist or call your health insurance provider. What else do you have for us, Pharmacist Bob? For those of you who receive your medicines through the mail, here's a way that you can create a seven-day supply of medications for your emergency supply kit. What you working on, Mom? Well, honey, you know how I like to use meal order to get your father's in my medication? Yes. Well, I'm going to go ahead and order our medication a month earlier this time. Hmm. So, what will that do? By mail ordering early, we'll have extra medication to store in our kit, and that way we'll be ready in case of a disaster. That's pretty smart, Mom. But what about the expiration date? Can you use the medication after it's expired, or do you have to keep switching them out? That's a good question. Yes, it is. Pharmacist Bob, how do you keep up with the expiration of your medication in your emergency supply kit? Ah, yes, the expiration date found on your medication container. I don't feel comfortable recommending taking medications past their expiration. And some medicines might be safe to take even six months after their expiration, but others are not safe to take after they expire, and every medicine is different this way. Also, if you keep your emergency medicines in a warm place, like your car or garage, they're more likely to go bad than if you keep them in a cool, dry place. I would recommend writing the expiration date on the container used for the emergency supply and making sure the medications get rotated. Now, why not ask your pharmacist for an extra labeled vial, which will have the expiration date to use for storage. Thank you, Pharmacist Bob. Just to recap, there are basically three ways one can create a seven-day supply of medications. One, get a refill three to seven days before your prescription runs out. Do this until you have seven days worth. Two, ask your pharmacist about getting a travel or vacation override. And three, if you're receiving your medicines in the mail, you can refill that medication usually three to four weeks earlier. We thank you for your time in watching this presentation and hope this helps you create a seven-day medication supply for your emergency supply kit. Please remember to never stop taking your medications for the purpose of creating an emergency supply. It's important that you take your medications as prescribed by your physician. Be safe and most of all, be ready. This DVD was developed by the David Geffen School of Medicine at UCLA, the UCLA School of Public Health, and the Los Angeles County Department of Public Health Emergency Preparedness and Response Program. Paid for by the Los Angeles County Department of Public Health Emergency Preparedness and Response Program. If you are interested in additional preparedness materials, visit www.publichealth.lacounty.gov slash EPRP.